Oh, oh. I drop to my knees and I pray to the Father. Scream Mr. Lucky, your eye by your hour. He got the light, he got the power. We got the truth. Now is the hour. My people been fighting for so long. He done been doing us so wrong. He know we ready to go home. Won't be much longer, just hold on. I drop to my knees and I pray to the Father. Scream Mr. Lucky, your eye by your hour. He got the light, he got the power. We got the truth. And now is the hour. My people been fighting for so long. He done been doing us so wrong. He know we ready to go home. Won't be much longer, just hold on. Gotta get it right, yeah, we gotta come back. You don't wanna die, looking up high and he cracking that sky. What? It's your hawa shot, better pick a side that look for that right. It's a homicide. I told the devil to get in the back. Spiritual riches, I fill up a sack. At church, I was sleeping the service. They told me to get up and worship, but all of your idols are worthless. The devil be right in there working. Drop top with the V12. Look at the past that he's swerving. Look at his daughter, she twerking. I had to switch and reverse it. Sometimes I can't really believe that you gave me a piece of the pack. It's a homicide. I told the devil to get in the back. Spiritual riches, I fill up a sack. At church, I was sleeping the service. You too, what's that? What's that? It's your boy Frank Nitty. We back with another video. Hey, check it out, man. So, uh, a quick update on that last, on that last video. I said I wasn't gonna do double stops no more. I think I'm gonna stick to that. But what it come down to is the lies that I've been told coming from the lies I was told coming from I knew he was done. That's the door I gotta back into. So lies that I was told coming from uh uh the customer, right? So the load that I had was from C.H. Robinson. It had three stops on it. The first stop, the BOL said Seven Palace. Second stop was Seven Palace. The third stop was One Palace. They had already adjusted it to where I don't have to go to the third stop because the Jacksonville stop had took that palette. It was going to deliver it down there. That's what they worked out. So, after I ended up delivering the Jacksonville, having to pull that stuff out, put it back on, I was told that, I was told that they was going to pay me $1,000 extra to take the rest of that load, the, the 13 pallets that was left off, they said, that they was going to take that back to um, pay me $1,000 to take it back to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. All right, cool. I called Landstar. They like, it's not updated yet. They sent me a Raycon with $1,000 added. Cool. I started heading that way. That night, I get another Raycon of only $800 added. So now it's a problem. Bills already scammed, paperwork scanned already. This, that, and the third, because I was thinking that the first stop they already signed the bills because we thought everything was complete, done with. I ended up getting halfway to the place, and I'm like, you know what? Let me just park and see what's going on. But nobody will answer. The following morning, I get a call from the agent Hey, man, how far you got? Well, I only got, I'm like 100 miles away from the place. It was like, well, um, they came down from 1,000 to 800. And now this morning, they sent in another Raycon with only 650 added. So you mean to tell me, y'all that motherfucking cheap and y'all lied while giving me the extra thousand dollars. So, is we know rules to the streets. Something you gotta take it as a loss. Cause it ain't like you can see them them people personally. You know what I'm saying? But they called me again about the load. The same load that was gonna be picking up next week in New Jersey if I wanted it. I asked to speak to a supervisor. And I got on the ass. Like, cause you lied. You know what I'm saying? 
And I see these agents will lie about what they gonna pay this, that, and the third just to get that load off. So I let them have it instead of, you know, cause just going back and forth with them, it ain't it ain't gonna do nothing. But I'm definitely uh taking that up with Landstar to see how all that they'll go. And basically what I'm hearing is they gonna have to pay it up because that's the rate con that they sent you. And then they sent them uh Landstar a whole different rate con. Like so that's kinda like a double sided thing right now. So whatever the remainder is, they gonna end up having to pay that. I uh, say I'm not I'm not tripping on it right now because we in a new week. I'm about to pick this load up, this load go back to Georgia. So I'm not too much tripping on it right now. And this load actually pay pretty decent just to go back to Georgia. I'm about to go ahead and do this. And I'm supposed to go on Doe Nine. I don't know what the hell going on, but these people supposed to have this shit together, you know. But I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna check back in with y'all in a few minutes. Yo, 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 chicken back in, chicken back in. I was gonna leave the video um, what it was and just post it, but I sleep didn't wanna do that. So I was like, let me go ahead and just finish all this video. But basically, uh, then I feel like I was right, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they did get over on a thousand dollars or whatever at first because they were sending the rate cons back and forth. And like I say, one recon when they first sent it, it was four thousand uh, extra. Then it went down to eight hundred. Then it went down to six twenty-five. So the original the recon that they sent me, they sent a different one to Landstar. So I ended up uh, scanning a recon in that they sent me, and C.H. Robinson ended up having to pay the remainder. So I guess they tried to get over or whatever like that. But come to find out, it really wasn't my fault that that low went like that. And the reason why I do this is for these reasons, I take pictures and I record everything that I do, like for my documentation, even like with Lowe's, like with previous companies, I still have, you know, pictures or videos if I'm able to get it of the load, you know, so that I'm not the one that's being blamed for something when it's really not my fault. So, um, other than that, we got our bread. You know, that was the main thing because your boy don't work for free. You know, um, I didn't allow them to start unloading that trailer until Landstar confronted them or brought it to their attention that, hey, y'all owe this dude another thousand dollars. So even though I was at the receiver at that time, I didn't allow them to unload my trailer into, until Landstar was like, all right, we got your extra thousand dollars. Now I go ahead and let them get the load. Hey, make it do what it do. You know, hey, at the end of the day, we got paid. I picked the load up, brought it home. That load delivered Monday morning. Got one to pick up Monday morning. Pay real good going to Florida. Got one coming out of Florida, coming back up. If a load, you know, council coming out of Florida, I'm pretty sure I can find something. Or I'm not going too deep into Florida, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm not going too deep into Florida, so I'm not really too much tripping on it, but <clears throat> I'm also trying to figure out how I need to run my weeks because all my paperwork got to be scanned in by Saturday, no, by Thursday at 2 p.m. So I'm trying to figure out my off days that I need to be taking versus coming home on Fridays, which that's not bad, but normally i was just thinking like normally if you get paid on friday you off like saturday and sunday so since i get paid like everything gets scanned in on thursday maybe i just need to i don't know because i get paid on mondays so like the papers everybody get paid differently they say i could change it whatever like that which i'll probably end up doing but i don't know just yet you know but i'm most definitely keep y'all updated I think this will be my first settlement with them as well. So drop down below if you want me to drop a, a video on the settlements and how everything is broken down, then I can do that. But if y'all do enjoy these clips, you know, please like, share, subscribe, comment, you know, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know what I'm saying? We are definitely building up. I'm almost at like 3,000 
finally made it over the 2500 threshold so i'm trying to keep it building keep it building you know i was gonna put a little personal stuff into this channel but i think i'm gonna make a whole nother channel for all the weapons called stuff like that real estate and then just do a whole nother channel because car stuff and truck stuff not blending with this channel which i understand it you know most people want to see what the hell going on but i appreciate y'all for watching i don't know that damn gold man here we got a car show tomorrow so i might record that post it i know it don't get many views but i just post it up anyway just so that y'all can see whoever do watch it you know what i'm saying but i'll be catching up with y'all on the next one and y'all be safe and easy yeah.